The first time I heard Flash, I was listening to XM Radio at my brother's house. I was blown away by what I heard. I thought they sounded like yes, and there was a reason for that. Let's find out why that is. Guitarist Peter Banks was a founding member of Yes, but departed the band after their second album, Time in a Word, to be replaced by Steve Howe. In 1971, he formed Flash with vocalist Colin Carter. Tony Kay, now also an ex-member of Yes, would contribute as a guest keyboardist on their self-titled debut album. Sovereign Records, a division of Capitol, would sign Flash because of the strength of their song, Small Beginnings. Soon bassist Ray Bennett and drummer Mike Huff would round out the band and recording would commence in November of 1971. The album would be released early the following year and even have some success in the U.S. where Small Beginnings hit the singles chart at number 29 and rightfully so. The album consisted of excellent musicianship and many exciting moments that allowed for the band to live up to their name. Flash would go on to record two more albums sans the keyboards. In the Can and Out of Our Hands would be two strong albums, but I thought they were lacking something without a true keyboardist. Patrick Mraz would even be turned down by Peter Banks, who opted for a keyboard-free sound. <laughs> anyway, I haven't actually opened up Out of Our Hands yet, but I will. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned tomorrow.